Counter-Strike Global Offensive is probably one of, if not the biggest competitive shooter title in existence. Well, at least in terms of popularity, because if we're going by toxicness, then I don't think it gets more radioactive than Rainbow Six, but still. CSGO and the whole Counter-Strike series really is one of the games that paved the way for the competitive hero shooter titles to thrive the way they do today. And undoubtedly, one of the best examples of this inspiration is with the 2020 release game of Valorant, which quite literally takes the same gameplay mechanic of CSGO, but you know, instead adds some powers in the mix along with some marketable generic video game characters. Now, Valorant is a fun game. The added gameplay mechanics turns the standard 6v6 bomb defusal into a more complex and skill demanding game that gives you a sense of accomplishment each match that you clutch through. It's definitely a fan favorite among today's streamers too. The game is practically the main game that you'll see being played online for content because of just how intense each matchup can get, so it's safe to say the experience of this title is nothing short of enjoyable. And when something is so popular and you hear so many good things about it, naturally, you know, no matter who you are, you have the urge to give it a whirl and see what all the hype is about. But unfortunately, not every player has that liberty because right now the game is only exclusive to PC players, you know, and that Riot launcher that adds to the plethora of inconvenient game launchers I'm forced to install just to play my games. It just leaves the console players and any other platform of gamers out of the equation who are curious about the game. Now, any game company's main goal with any title is to make it bigger or, you know, do what they can to make it more popular for obvious reasons. And over the years, Riot has toyed with the idea of bringing their hit title to more screens and platforms, but a new leak and job listing has fans more sure than ever that we're going to see a rendition of the Hero Shooter title on consoles and even mobile platforms really soon. Now I found multiple reporters on the leak, but I don't know which one originally broke the news, you know, but either way, a data miner for Valorant commented on the apparent leak for, you know, the game having console playtesting, and he revealed that the platforms will be for both current and last gen consoles. And the page that they're quoting on the tweet also has apparent screenshots of the upcoming mobile version of Valorant, you know. Now it goes without saying that with this being a quote unquote leak, you should take it with a grain of salt. I mean, this is the modern day internet we're talking about, but in this case, Riot has literally teased the idea of Valorant on console and other platforms in the past, so I doubt there's no reason to believe that even if these leaks right now, you know, aren't real, that we still won't see, you know, this change happen sometime in the future, you know, which is exciting to think about. This apparent leak also brought to light that Riot is currently looking for console playtesters and job listings, so I think that gives further reason to believe the leak's validity. Now, official dates or, you know, rumor dates is still up in the air as of right now, but I wouldn't be surprised for something like this to drop in the near future, possibly mid to late next year, but, you know, that, that that's just me speculating. Now, Valorant coming to console is an amazing thing. I mean, finally, controller players can feel the pain of having your pocket sage sell you each round. You know, I'm happy for y'all, but my only concern with this move is the possible gameplay issue for console players that they could possibly see. You see, half of the fun in Valorant, you know, for me at least, is the accurate and precise aiming that's required no matter what level of sensitivity that you have. This game has a skill gap that really made me lock in when I first started playing it because, you know, I wasn't used to having to play on mouse and keyboard at that time, so learning to get better and precise aim made me appreciate the game even more. However, if this game does come to console, that aspect is inevitably, you know, probably going to get nerfed. I mean, it goes without saying that you don't have the same input with the controller stick as you would with a mouse, so, you know, either they'd have to make the enemy much more forgiving or just straight up add a little aim assist. I mean, they wouldn't have to, I mean, they could just say f and let the console players figure it out, but I'd imagine they'd at least take it into consideration, so I'm curious to see how that plays out. Either way, this is possibly good news for Valorant's future, so hopefully everything is done right and as soon as possible. So what do you guys think about this Valorant leak, man? Feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, leave a like on the video, subscribe, check out the Patreon if you're interested, and I'll see you on the next one.